Hello students, welcome to engineering assignments. In engineering assignments, we are going to study a topic called as grade and descent algorithm. It's a very important topic basically for the students who are learning machine learning as well as data mining. So today we are going to deal with this topic. So before I go into detail about uh, grade and descent algorithm, I'll have to explain about the sum of squared errors. The sum of squared errors in short form we represent as SSE is actually the sum of all training points actual value minus predicted value the whole square. See how this name has come. Here you can see the sigma, sigma means sum and the square also. So that's why the name has come sum of squared errors. Students you already know that if actual value minus predicted value was the same value you won't have any error. But in real world there will be some difference between the actual value and predicted value because 100% accurate machines never exist in the world. Now how can you represent this SSE? SSE can be represented as sigma i is equal to 1 to n where n is all the training points into yi minus yi bar the whole square where yi is the actual value and yi bar represents the predicted value. In case of linear regression, you already know that yi bar is equal to mx plus b. Students, if you don't know this equation, I recommend you to watch my machine learning video from the beginning so you will understand why did I write yi bar is equal to mx plus b. Now, the linear regression equation is equal to mx plus b. Therefore, you can represent SSE is equal to sigma i ranges from 1 to n yi minus mx plus b the whole square. I have just substituted the value of yi bar over here. Students, our main aim is to reduce this error. This error can be reduced using two methods. One is matrix method, another one is iterative algorithm. Matrix method you have already studied in the video before. It is a closed form solution. Next is an iterative algorithm. Iterative algorithms example is delta rule or least minimum slope LMS and the example is gradient descent algorithm and this gradient descent algorithm mainly used to minimize this SSC. Now how can you reduce this SSC using gradient descent algorithm? This gradient descent algorithm will minimize this SSC by iteratively updating the parameters of the learning model. Which are the parameters? In case of linear regression, it will be m and b. That is you are going to update or you are going on finding new values of m and b. But in case of neural networks and all, it will be iteratively updating the weight for minimizing the error. So you understood why the gradient descent algorithm is used. Gradient descent algorithm is basically used to minimize this SSC. Gradient descent algorithm is an optimization algorithm used for minimizing the cost function. So SSC is being reduced by reducing the cost function in various machine learning algorithms. And it is basically used for updating the parameters of the learning model. That is gradient descent method is an algorithm to minimize the loss function, cost function, or you can even say that error function by optimizing the parameters. In case of linear regression, it's M and B. This method is commonly used in machine learning and deep learning to minimize the cost function or loss function. In linear regression, the cost function is written as 1 by n, sigma i is equal to 1 to n, y i minus y, y i bar the whole square. And in um, regression, this cost function or this error function is differentiable and if it is differentiable or if you take the derivative of it, you can easily find out the gradient. This is the end of part 1 of the video of gradient descent algorithm. In the next video, we will be discussing the algorithm of gradient descent as well as I will explain much more detail using some examples. Thank you students. Thank you for watching my video.